adventure. Adventure drives us out of our comfort zone. It challenges us at our core. And it creates this life well lived because of adventure. What adventure means to one and how it can be totally different from what it means to someone else. And I'd like to introduce you to some individuals and their take on what adventure is. For me, adventure is something that challenges me to be better as a person. It challenges me to feel uncomfortable, to feel excited in the tears, to wonder, am I gonna get out of this place? But one of my favorite things about adventuring is learning about cultures that are different from my own. Feeling expanded as a human being by adventure because it lets me connect to all these different places around the world. Adventure is a word that always makes me smile. As soon as I hear it, I think about traveling to places I know little about. But adventures can also be as a result of putting myself out there with careful planning. I think about finding myself surrounded by some of the most magnificent parts of the world. It's also a challenge thing. I get a real buzz out of being stretched. And those challenges are usually both mental and physical. I love it when days are rammed full of, I didn't know that moment. Adventure equals learning. There's always that flow of adrenaline too, isn't there? It's pretty addictive stuff. Adventures, love them. Adventure starts by stepping outside your comfort zone. It can be something big, like riding around the world on a motorcycle. But it doesn't have to be. You can have an adventure at home. Even in the garage. Adventure can be trying a food that's new to you, or reading a book. You can have an adventurous hair color. Adventure looks different for everyone, so maybe it's less about where you are or where you're going, and more about how you approach it. Adventure! Adventure is a mindset that allows you to thrive outside your comfort zone. Hey there, I'm Jay Shapiro here in Nairobi, Kenya. Adventure to me means expanding my memory bank with new experiences that fill me with wonder, discovery, a little dash of fear, and a sense of satisfaction. There are small adventures, like geocaching in a ravine that you didn't know existed around the corner from your house. And there's big adventures that take many months and can take you to every corner of the earth. What ties them all together for me though is the sense of wonder and the constant drive to explore. Okay, what is adventure? Adventure could mean different things to different people. To me, adventure is being a little outside of your comfort zone a little vulnerable, maybe in a new place, maybe with some new people. The bottom line is adventure is all about having fun, doing what you love to do, trying out something new. It can be anything. The, the, the main ingredient is have fun. Adventure. It's freedom and independence. It's daring, exciting, risky. It can be scary. You never know what's going to happen, but you still jump in with both feet and sometimes both wheels. I'm Tiffany Coates. I ride my motorbike around the world. Danelle Lynn asked me, what do I think is the definition of adventure? What do we mean by adventure? Well, let me tell you. So I take the view that when confronted with a project, 
For example, a young English guy spends eight months walking 3,000 miles the length of India, asking everyone he meets what they think of the British. I reckon that's an adventure. A lone European canoes the length of the Congo River, facing hostility and kindness on the way. I reckon that's an adventure. A Swedish woman wants to try and understand why Iran is so reviled, a rogue nation. So she runs across it, pushing her sleeping kit in a baby buggy before her and meeting hundreds of Iranians into the process. I reckon that's an adventure. Adventure needs to probably be difficult, have real jeopardy and take you not slightly but massively out of your comfort zone. And finally, you must be truly vulnerable during the project. If these four conditions are not met, then what you're doing is probably a holiday. And don't get me wrong, I love being on holiday. In my humble opinion, just because something is new or different, it does not qualify for adventure status. Words are important. Words like love, truth, honesty, justice, compassion and empathy need to be used carefully. And if we don't cherish the word adventure and use it appropriately, but instead just use it because it sounds sexy and cool, then we are idiots. Yeah, I stand by that. Ride while you can, have a great time, go light, go far. So what is adventure? The question is more aptly put, what is adventure to you? As Helen Keller said, life is a daring adventure or nothing. I hope you get out there on the road, live your adventures, experience how small your comfort zone can be and how large the world is. Break through those comfort zone walls, challenge yourself, and experience all that this globe has to offer. See you out there on the road.